Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing my everyday makeup look. Something that is super easy, like no makeup makeup kind of thing, and it takes about five minutes. So I have a bunch of my makeup right here with everything in here that I need. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I do before I apply any makeup is go on with some cleanser. So I use the Kiehl's Deep Cleaning Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I've been using this for ages now and I'm completely in love with it. And then I always go on with a little bit of moisturizer. So I've been using the Simple Kind of Skin um, Hydrating Light Moisturizing Cream for about two years now. So I'm just gonna pop some all over my face, about this much right here. And this just allows my like foundation or BB cream to go on a lot smoother. And I've got really dry skin as well. So you've got to keep that face hydrated. And then going in with some eye cream so the concealer under my eyes does not cling to any dry patches. And also to keep away them wrinkles. So I'm just taking my Bobbi Brown eye cream. This stuff has lasted me so long. So just gently patting that under my eyes. Okay, so now moving on to the base. I actually haven't found the perfect base yet. I like to use BB creams on a daily basis because I don't want to put foundation on my face every day just because my face will break out. So I have been using the Garnier BB Pure Active and the Rimmel BB Cream put together. I have not found one that matches my neck because I fake tan, I need something with a really yellow undertone and I also want something that has a decent coverage. So I guess these will just do for now. I mean, if you guys know of any good ones, please help me out. So just putting a little bit of each one on the back of my hand. And then I'm going in with a Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80 brush. I use a ton of different brushes when I do my base, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to start blending this into my face and to be honest, this is the only mirror that I have. So let's see how this goes. It's quite small. So I'm just going to dab this on my face. So just starting on the most problemed areas, which is around my cheek area. So as you can see, the colour isn't a perfect match to my neck. So I just make sure to really blend it down. But I do like how this does leave like a really natural dewy finish to the face because I do have dry skin and I want that glowy dew. And if you guys follow me on any of my social media, then you would know that I picked up a new camera and I'm filming with it now. It's a 70D Canon and it's amazing. It just has autofocus, which is what I wanted. So if you can hear any like rattling noises, that's just my lens focusing, but I'm just playing around with different settings and stuff to see what works best. Oh, goodness gracious, all of my pimples are covered. I actually do like the products that I've been using, but I just want something that matches my neck a little better. But overall, it does a really good job. Time for concealer. I'm taking my Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is a holy grail of mine. It covers absolutely everything and it does a really good job at color correcting under the eyes. This is in the shade Medium Light Neutral. So I'm just popping it a little bit under my eyes. So now just going ahead and blending this out. I just like to do little patting motions so I don't disturb the BB cream. And also running this over my eyes. So I just had to close my blinds because there was a lot of sun in the background. So moving on to setting the concealer, I'm taking my Australis AC on Tour Contouring and Highlighting Kit. I have to do this step just because my concealer does crease under my eyes quite a bit. So I just take a little bit of this yellow shade and gently dab this under my eyes. And I do take a lighter shade just so it stays nice and bright. It just makes me look a bit more awake. And I'm also just setting this um, down the middle of my nose as well to keep that nice and highlighted and on my chin. And I don't set the rest of my face with powder just because I do like that dewy finish and it seems to last all day without powder as well. So. And now moving on to eyebrows, I'm taking my Whitening Lightening Brow Bar To Go. This is the darkest one. I change up the brow stuff that I use all the time. Sometimes I use the Essence Brow Kit. Um, I do want to get the Anastasia Pencil because I feel like that will be 10 times quicker on like an everyday basis. But I'm just going to lightly fill my brows. So firstly, I just brush through them. And then I take the middle shade right here and just start from the tail of my brow and just extend them a little bit and make them a tiny bit thicker. So because my hair is quite dark, I just like to make them a little bit darker as well. And this is like the perfect color for my eyebrows. But I am dyeing my hair tomorrow. I'm so excited. 
I'm just getting a little bit of blonde put in there because my hair has been this color for so long and I feel like it's just starting to get really boring. So just gonna add some color, which means my eyebrows are gonna have to be lighter. <laughs> so as you can see, when I fill in my eyebrow, it really frames the face. I feel like eyebrows complete a makeup look. I, I'm obsessed with eyebrows right now. Okay, so now for mascara, I'm taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black, blah, blah, Extra Black Mascara. This is a mascara that I've been loving for so many years now, and I've just repurchased it for like the fifth time, and I've just fallen in love with it again. So just popping that on my top and bottom lashes. Depending on how much time I have when I'm getting ready, I'll either put just a tiny bit on or a lot on to make my eyes look really big. So for the sake of this makeup tutorial, I'm gonna whack a lot on. So what I do is I start from the root of my eyelashes and really wiggle my way up to get into each and every lash. And never forget those bottom lashes. I feel like doing the bottom lashes really open up the eyes. I have like tiny eyes, so this really helps. Okay, so now to add some color to the face, I either take a cream blush to add a really nice glow to my cheeks or I take a bronzer. So the bronzer that I usually use is the MAC in the shade Give Me Sun. This is a holy grail of mine. I'm sure you guys have heard this before. So if I do want a bit of a tan look, I just pop it right under my cheeks there and around my face and this looks absolutely amazing. But I do kind of want a dewy finish today and some rosy cheeks. So I'm taking my NYX blush in the shade Boho Chic on an expert face brush. This leaves a beautiful glow. If you guys have oily skin, I would definitely stay away from a cream blush, maybe just a powder blush or even some bronzer or something. But for me, I'm just going to be dabbing it right in there and then popping it on the apples of my cheeks. Especially this light right here, you're going to see a lot of reflection coming off so it does look a little bit wet and that's the look that I love so just dabbing this in of course I don't want to be blending it like that because it will disturb the BB cream I feel like this just leaves like the healthiest glow to your skin Whew. I want it to ah! holy shit <laughs> come say hey I'm nearly done I'm not coming in. You look really good. <laughs> Just come in. I'm drowning. Come in. No, seriously. The lighting's nice. Hey, guys. <laughs> Am I in? You're in. You're definitely in. Look at my ear. <laughs> That's Chloe, by the way, everyone. Do you like my makeup? It's just an everyday look. Yeah, it looks really good. Thank you. Nice and natural. Thank you. I can actually hear my camera focusing when I'm just like sitting in silence and I'm <laughs> really sorry for the noise, you guys. I'll fix it. <laughs> I actually got so scared when she just came in. So the last thing I'm doing is popping a little bit of lip balm on my lips. This is the Haraw Vanilla Bean. It smells absolutely amazing. I heard this heard really good things off Shan XO, so I just went ahead and got it. It's from like a natural vegan store or something. I'm not sure where or what it's called, but just like a natural healthy store that sells like supplements and stuff. So popping that on. Okay, so there we have my everyday like no makeup makeup look. You can definitely tell that I have makeup on, but I think it's just something that makes you look a bit more put together and a bit more presentable. I personally don't wear makeup every day. I actually probably wear no makeup more than I wear makeup, but this is something that I've been obsessed with lately. It's super natural and radiant, and it makes you look super glowy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you very soon. Bye! Okay, so in this last Zippy compartment right here, I have things that I kind of want to hide because I just don't want them floating around in my bag because they look ugly or I just probably won't use them all the time.